Okay, all right. All right, everybody. Here we go. Here you go. You guys ready to have psychic damage? Let's do it. You guys ready? Let's enjoy. Hey, mamas. Let's talk about the memorable features on the Rezvani Vengeance. I'm body armored, and so is this vehicle. For even more protection, you have explosive underbody shielding, bulletproof glass, electrified door handles, military grade run flat tires, and a ram steel bumper. If anyone's following you, you have blinding lights in the front and the back, or a smoke screen. Plus my favorite, pepper spray. If you're picking your kids up from the mall, let them know you're there with strobe lights and your intercom. Hey, Bobby, it's your mommy. Your kids will love that it was styled by a video game designer. Vengeance is based on the Cadillac Escalade, so mama gets heated and ventilated leather seats, a curved OLED display with all the Cadillac Escalade fucking sucks. Augmented reality, a digital rear view mirror, which is necessary. Vengeance is only- Why? Oh my God, a, a digital rear view mirror because the back is armored? yours and so is everything in this built-in safe parents might need to help their kiddos open the door but it's a breeze to get in you have heated seats a third zone of climate control cup holders and two usb c's bring the kiddos along with five top tethers two sets of lower latch anchors it's a three row suv that seats up to eight people i fit and i'm safe let's see if the stroller does stroller test it fits and it's powered by a V8 with 420 to 810 horsepower. Okay, listen, you guys all know I am a big fan of self-defense. You all know I'm, I'm a gun culture lefty. I literally got my gun over there. I got my other gun in the other room. We go shooting all the time. This right here, is the sign of a diseased mind, okay? No joke. It is the it is the sign of a diseased society. Uh, a, a car that you are paying loads extra so you can tear up, literally tear up and ruin the roads of your local fucking shitty suburb. That you have, you're paying for a car that with all that armor probably gets fucking five miles to the gallon. Just draining your bank account with every single second that you drive it. A car designed to traumatize your children. It has a fucking, uh, it has a fucking bullhorn so you can shout at your children while being a helicopter mom. This is a, a, a child traumatization machine, but it betrays a larger problem with America as a whole as a whole, which is that we are the most paranoid country on the fucking planet. Uh, like, not only do we buy uh, ridiculous suburban tanks like this, which only flatten children. Let me just tell you, there is no chance that this lady is ever going to have a bomb go off next to her car. There is no chance that she is ever going to use any of those features in that car, except maybe the ramming, uh, the, 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 the like ramming steel, because she's definitely gonna have a road rage incident uh, in sometime in the near future. However, the rest of that car, all the blind spots, the gigantic size of it, the inability to actually like use your car like a regular car, that is going to have only one effect, which is that someday there is going to be a kid that is in the blind spot and that woman is going to fucking flatten that child. Just holy fucking shit. Uh, and also, it's not just these types of cars, like I was I was saying. Uh, it's not just these types of suburban fucking child flatteners. It's uh, it's the fact that like people will install like spying devices. Have you guys seen the videos going around of that new product? It's a tiny little drone that automatically patrols your house. It's like literally like a quadcopter drone with a camera on it that goes to a security company and it just patrols around your house like flies around and goes, it keeps you safe. Definitely guys, definitely keeping you safe. There's definitely nobody jerking off as the fucking thing passes your bathroom while you're sitting in there. It is so insane. And not only that, but there's other, there's these other things like the, um, I think it was called Bastion. Uh, but there's a slew of them now. They're uh, private security apps where basically you buy a private security uh, package, you set up cameras all around your home, and if you're in trouble, you push a button and the private security guys go hup, 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 and they show up at your house 30 minutes later after you're already dead. Um, it's super crazy. 
Uh, and these things are used to spy in all kinds of ways. You see, because keep in mind that most of the time, none of these security systems actually prevent anything bad from happening to you. In fact, they barely even discourage anything from happening to you. Uh, but what they do do is that uh, most of these companies have agreements with the police where they can subpoena uh, uh, the company and they can get the videos, uh, they, they can get the, uh, the, the, the footage, they can get all the different sensor information, they can get all your per personal data and use it to bust other people or even you. Can you imagine if you installed like a big security system and then you wanted to fucking rip a fat doink? You're just like, yeah, I want to have a quick weed, but you live in a state where weed isn't legal yet because weed is not federally legal and you're just sitting there smoking and then two days later you're fucking brought into court on fucking weed charges? Literally paying for your own incrimination. It's like Americans are paying. It's so funny. When, when most people, when the average person like looks out at the world and they they like see like a war zone right they see like a like a horrible horrible war zone they're like wow i'm very happy that i don't live in that war zone it would absolutely suck to have to live in a world where like you go outside and you run to your destination because you don't want to get blown up you don't want to get like cracked down on by like an occupying force no 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 in america suburban moms have become so deranged and of course suburban dads let's not forget those motherfuckers those fucking pit viper ass oakley ass motherfuckers with their their maga hats and their uh their american flag do rags or whatever they're called coming out there and being like i want to live in a prison i want i want my children to grow up walking through a fucking episode of star wars andor what's your take on home security systems particularly ones with varying levels of cctv they're fucking useless they are literally useless, okay? Hold on, let me tell a quick anecdote. When I was moving earlier this year, uh, my car got stolen while we were moving. Like, uh, we have a electric car and the car was accidentally left running and, uh, and, and we were loading things. So it was literally like less than five minutes, uh, one of my partners hopped out of the car, ran upstairs to get a box. Somebody noticed that the car was running, jumped in the car, climbed in it and drove off, okay? They stole the car. They stole the car in front of a CCTV camera, okay? So the CCTV camera was right there and we later confirmed that the CCTV camera caught the person's face on the camera and there was nothing that they could do about it, nothing. Do you wanna know how we got my car back? I went and searched for my car because I saw, I passed my car while driving on a, on a state highway. So I was driving past, I said, wait a minute, I think that's my car. My friend pulled a, a, a U-turn, we followed the car, we located it to the thing, then we recalled the cops and we said, hey, we located the car, here's where it is. Then two days later, the cops managed to confirm that the car was there. When we initially, when the car initially got stolen, we had contacted the front office within 10 minutes, we had contacted the police within 10 minutes, the police didn't show up for an hour and a half even though we had their face on CCTV. It's fucking useless. It doesn't do shit, except that it makes you feel like you live in a prison. It's recording you at all times. No actual crimes are stopped by this. It's just surveillance, endless surveillance. And to borrow a line once again from Star Wars and or, no one's fucking listening. There you go. I added the swear that they couldn't, so. It is, a panop it is a panopticon, an expensive, ugly, oh yeah, oh there is one other thing. Sorry, sorry, I forgot one thing. In this same neighborhood that where this theft happened, where my car got stolen, um, this neighborhood was covered. In fact, Gayfesh, if Gayfesh is here, Gayfesh can tell you just how many uh, security cameras were everywhere in this neighborhood. My old neighborhood was loaded with them. They had the towers that look like they're from a prison yard that have like four cameras pointing in different directions everywhere. But you know what else they had? They also had a PA system. And you wanna know what they used the PA system for? If you were out walking at, at night and they thought you looked suspicious, which we all know what that's code for. If you were out walking at night, sometimes some chuckle fuck sitting in his van up by the front office would get on the PA system and go, 
uh, uh, we have a suspicious person. Please evacuate the premises. Uh, please evacuate the premises. So you would be sitting in your home and you would hear a fucking PA come on like you live in a fucking federal penitentiary. Literally maddening. Literally driving yourself insane for nothing. Uh, windows got bashed out at that neighborhood all the time and they never caught a single person. Cars got stolen from in that neighborhood, never caught a single person. They never prevented a single fucking crime. But they got to yell at random people at night and induce a state of panic and terror at all times. They got to ruin the landscape and make everything look like a horrible fucking prison yard. Yeah, literally, Vermin. That's what I was just telling you. I was just talking about that. Like how they didn't do anything. The, the, the camera footage, we had their face on camera and it didn't do anything. The, the, those people, to my knowledge, never got arrested. The car was abandoned after being trashed. I told this story before. The car got abandoned and it was found at the place that I told the police that it was at. I found the car, I told the police, and then the police went and recovered it after it was fucking trashed. It's terrible. They're fucking trash, okay? Listen, they're designed, they're designed, they have the exact same use as this shit that we just watched. This fucking uh, psycho uh, uh, riot car. <laughs> Can you imagine? Okay, I just want, I want you to think for a second. Can you imagine you're sitting in your car, you know, maybe you're eating some McDonald's or whatever, and your buddy comes up to knock on the window and you go to roll down the window and you accidentally press the pepper spray and you just blasted your friend and the friend in the eyes while you're just eating your burger in your car but you can't see out because the windows are tinted and you couldn't find the right button because it was too dark and there's 900 different lethal weapons attached to your buttons in your car actually it's just genuinely insane Vermin Hand says, Demon Mama, the same thing happened when we got our car broken into and our backpack stolen in San Francisco. We had their faces and their car on a camera that was literally right there and we never heard a thing about it. They do not care. Cops don't fucking give a shit. Security companies especially don't give a, sh give a shit. Okay, I want you to think about something. Do you know how much footage is created by 24-7 CCTV? Do you know how fucking much footage is created by that? Uh, these security companies charge property owners out the ass. They charge you out the ass like crazy amounts and they throw it all away. Most of them have clauses that say that they throw it away after like 30 days, that they sometimes that they throw it away after a couple of days. It is a scam, just scam, scam, scam. Fuck that shit. Fuck living in a panopticon, okay? Seriously. You cannot possibly, no matter how hard you panopticon yourself, you cannot prevent crime. And in fact, turning every single neighborhood in America and every single parking lot into, in America into a prison yard will actually only increase crime. Because guess what? People fucking hate that shit. It makes them angry and depressed. It makes the world ugly and horrible and terrifying. And then people will turn to crime because, well, of course you would. Of course you're gonna to turn to crime if the entire world already treats you like you're a fucking inmate in your daily life. 